So to get Cartoon Cat, what we're going to do is head over this way and go into the map, all right? Once we've entered the map, oh my gosh. We're going to go over here and grab one of ourselves the Tricky Cookie Hot Dog Mobiles. You can also use the Tricky Plane if you want. It is up to you. You don't have to use any of these. But it does help get to where we need to go. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the tricky plane it just makes it a whole lot easier and a lot faster so this way we're going over here to the grunt building is what i like to call it or head towards the big tree over here uh the building with the plane on top is where you want to go so once you're here eject and head over inside of the building go all the way forward until we see a ladder there it is go up the ladder hop on over once you're in this room go to your left wait for that to open go through the only door available to you then once you're here just keep going forward and then you're gonna see cartoon cats puddle of black stuff step on it and that's how you get it to get Shadow Golem, what we're going to do is head over back into the map, like so, woo! And we're going to grab ourselves a mobile, a hot dog tricky cookie mobile. I don't even know what to call these things. But once you get into one, you're going to then start your journey off to, oh boy. <laughs> you're going to start going over here towards the blue box, okay? But do not go to the blue box. Go here and just, it's really close by. You can't miss it. You're going to just touch the head here. And that is how you get the shadow golem. So this is really how close it is. To get the returned badge, head back into the map. And then we're going to go and grab ourselves one of these vehicles, okay? Now, I know a lot of you are probably like, why you keep saying the same thing over and over? It's because, you know, not everyone is going to be in the same spot as I'm going to be showing some badges. So I figured I start from the start and show you where to go. So to get this, head all the way over here to the back corner. Some of these badges are still in the same spot from like the day one of this game. But right there is going to have a red gem. Bump into it, step on it, and that's how you get the returned badge. All right, so next up is original Tiki. Go ahead, grab one of these cars here. And what we're going to do is head over this way towards the blue orb, okay? So just go to the back right corner of the map where you see a building. That is where you want to go. So just keep driving on over. And there's going to be a entrance way that's sort of been broken open. Head inside and just touch all this stuff right here. And that's how you get the original Tiki. Next up is the Dark Matter Badge. Get in one of the cars here. Once you... Oh, nope. That's the passenger seat. Can't drive it like that, hombre. Alright. Once you get the car, head over to the stone structure. And we're going to go to the back side of it. Right over here. There should be another ramp that takes you up to the top. What you can do is just go ahead and park your car down here. Uh-oh, there we go. Head on up. And the moment you enter inside this room, you should get the Dark Matter Badge. It's that easy. All right, next one is Drone. All right, so to get Drone, we're going to head over this way towards... I, I like to call it the Space Station, all right? But Or go towards the big tree, whichever one you want to call it. Just go in this direction. And what we're going to be looking for is a rusty controller even says in the badge description look for the big giant rusty controller now you can use the portal if you want to get to this spot easier or faster but for those who don't know how to use the portals or they get confused with them i am showing you guys how to get it but right over here is our rusty controller close by right between the space station and the giant rusty drone all you have to do is step on it, and that's how you get it. All right, the next one is Spamton Neo. 
This one might be a little difficult, just because you'll see in a bit. But head over this way to the back side of the rock structure. And you're going to see an orb here that's spewing out all this magical dust, is what I'm going to call it. <laughs> it's not really nice magical dust. It will kill you. So, go ahead, hop on out. Do a little obby action here. Now, once you get here, simply hug the edge here, all right? Stay as far away as you can, all right? It might kill you if you get too close. So, you know, you don't want that to happen. And then over here ooh, oh boy I'm, I'm really focused you're gonna see that cd right there go ahead walk to it bump into it and you will get the badge it doesn't always kill you but if you get too close like that you will die next up is lord x this one is gonna be over here it's close by so you don't have to take a car if you want you can just run over but past the green field there and you're going to see this little, little, little pond of bubbly, I'm just going to say acid. Now, if I zoom in, I'm just going to show you guys what we're aiming for. There is that right there. You see that? This is what we want to bump into. It's the red ring. All you have to do is get a right spot, and hopefully you'll go through that ring and you'll get the badge. Big Dave, El Coco, and Tall Bambi badges. So for any of these three badges, come over here to this this is the portal to the portal room and if we zoom out we've got a lot of orbs if you want to know what each one takes you watch my video on that it's a whole video on every single location but to get to the place we want to go we go one two and then three and then four orb right here this is the one we want simply click or tap on that and you will be brought to the world that everyone's been trying to fly to but can't get into because there's an invisible barrier now if you're still watching right now right here is that sans heart everyone has been trying to get because they can't get here but to get inside we want to do is turn your camera like so and zoom out until you can see the button right here click that and that will open up this room then do the same thing here but click on the button over here on the right, which will open up this room. And then we're going to open up this door. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and get ourselves the Big Dave and El Coco badges. They're going to be over this way to the left, through this door, go down the ramp, opening up this door. There are no other ways. Just keep running down the pathway until you get to this one. And now you're in a hallway. Now, uh, El Coco is going to be the third room, I do believe. So one, two, and then three. Open, walk inside, and there is El Coco. Just go ahead and step on them, and you should get the El Coco badge. Now, the Big Dave, exit this room. Go all the way down to the very end, and open up the door. Boop, boop. And there is Big Dave. Just go ahead and bump into his head. Now, if you want to go ahead and get the tall Bambi, go ahead and go back down the hallway. And we're pretty much going to the start of this area. So go all the way back up the ramp. Then go to our left. And here is where we walked in. So what we're going to do now is go through this door here, which will put us into the hallway. And take us all the way to the end. These are actually windows for ob observing all these characters. Now, open up this door. Walk inside. That's a lot of pew pews. Go into this door here. And we're going to go to the very end right here. No, actually second to last. So this one right here. And there is Tall Bambi. And that's how you get the badges. Oh, what you're doing on there on your Nokia? Now, do not reset. Just come back here to the start if you want to follow along for the him badge. So from here, from the very start, we're going to go off to our left, open up this door, go down here, then follow the pathway all the way to this hallway. Now, I know we've already been here, but immediately to your right is going to be the doorway to get him badge bump into him and you'll get the badge 
Next up is Analog Bambi. And actually, all we have to do, and you have to do it this way, is go here to the portal. Once you click on this, you'll be sent to the portal room. And what we're doing is going for a certain orb. All right, so we're gonna go from here, one, and then two. This is the orb you wanna click on. It will take you into this green world. Run towards the middle a little bit. And all I have to do is reset and you will get the badge once your body hits the ground. Our next badge is Ripper. And to get the Ripper, what we're gonna have to do is head over here and go underneath the rock structure. So in the middle, there is gonna be this pillar. Go off to the left side of it and there should be, uh oh, there we go. There should be a little hole here for you to go down into. Once you start doing that, just keep going all the way. There are no turns. It's just one big tunnel that takes you to a huggy wuggy arm. Step on it, and that is how you get the badge. Next up is spaghetti. No, I'm not making you spaghetti. That's the name of the badge. Oh my gosh, let me in. So once you get your vehicle, head over towards this hill. So you see the rock structure? Head over to the hill here behind this small building. Or look for the huggy wuggy colorful doorway. Once you're here, hop on out. Walk inside, just keep walking forward until you enter this room. Then go over here to this dark area and simply walk forward until you see Huggy Wuggy's face. Step on his face, he loves it, you get the badge. Next up is the Willy badge. And actually, we don't need a car really because it's really close by. So from here, this little spaceship and then over here, you're going to see a small tree. If we zoom out, what you're looking for is a small pit. And it should be literally on your way over. I think it should be right there. So it's kind of off to the side. But you can kind of see it right there. So if you want, you can go through the tree. And you'll probably see it from here. Or this is where it is. So once you're there, drop on down. You're going to see Willie the machine. Go ahead, enter inside his head. And that's how you get the badge. Now, to get the Mr. Hush badge, you actually need the Ripper and Spaghetti badge. And over here is going to be the doorway for Ripper and Spaghetti. And there is going to be Mr. Hush's head. Step on it, and that's how you get the badge. It's very spooky in here. <laughs> All right, our next badge is called Missy. This is the Kissy Missy badge. Go ahead, get yourself a tricky plane. It'll just probably be easier this way. I do suggest using the drone also. You'll like see why. If you don't have the drone badge, that's fine. You can do it without it. It just makes it a lot easier. But if you're flying, driving, running, walking, head over this way to the back right corner of the map. And a lot of these places have these portals that will lead you there. So if you want to use them and you know them, go for it. But if not, I'm just going to show you guys how to do the old-fashioned way. So once we are out of the plane, go to the corner and you're going to see this sign. It says, Gay Sprinting Start and Jump with Sprint if you want to make it. So what you're going to want to do is get a nice good sprinting start. And then you're going to want to touch that blue ribbon. And the reason why I say use the drone is then you can just fly around it and then touch that ribbon if not you're gonna have to just keep jumping over it until you get the missy badge next badge is called kiwi yes now to get kiwi i do suggest you use a fast morph you don't have to use sunky he is fast but he is out of control but go ahead this way towards the small tree or the grunt madness trees what i like to call it and once you're there we're gonna go ahead hop on out and go towards the door here that says click or tap it's exactly what it says click or tap on it once you're teleported here i suggest you zoom out if you see the mountain there go over this way to where you see this pit and inside that pit is going to be a magical spoon go ahead and bump into that spoon like so you will die but you'll get the badge 
Alright, our next badge is called Cheerio Drip. And you can actually kind of see him coming over to me right now. What you gotta do is get in his pathway and bump into him. Will I make it? Will I do it? Hey, right there. Well, I missed it, but I already have it. But all you have to do is let that guy bump into you. His pathway is always the same. So he's gonna run this way. And then at some point, he's gonna come back running over here by the Starbucks coffee area. Next is Unfairness Bambi. Get yourself a vehicle and head over this way back to the Grunt Madness tree, okay? You can see I already have been here with my vehicle, but what you want to do is use a fast morph and use this car here to get close to the tree. The reason why is because you got to get on top of this tree. Dang you. This tree is annoying me so much. It, it's a really annoying tree. It really is. Like, no joke. This tree deserves to, like, burn. There we go. Oh. There we go. All right. Whew. You can do other ways. You can fly up here. You can use a plane. But I'm just trying to show you guys the best way that, you know, most people may not be able to do it using a plane. But go ahead, touch this face, and that's how you get the badge. All right, next up is Tall Dave. Get yourself a vehicle or any form of transportation and go towards the blue square over here. Just go ahead simply this way. Then park your car. You're going to see a pit, excuse me, and drop down into the pit. Once you've done that, go over here to your left side or the side that it's fading out into the distance. And the last totem here is going to have a boot. Go ahead and bump into that boot. And that is how you get the badge. Next one is another Huggy Wuggy badge. You will need to use some form of flying to get to this next place. There are no portals to here. But once you're over in the, the sky... Head over to this orb or this giant floating structure in the sky. Now, you can use the drone. Probably the best way to do it. Just in case you do not land your plane correctly. Or, you know, if you start falling, you can just fly on up. You can land at the top if you want as well. But what I'm doing is, again, the way that maybe people won't be able to do it. But right here, there is a hole... You're going to fly into that hole. And, oh, no. All right. There we go. Another thing you can do is use the noob plane because you can stop and just let it hover there and you can just jump on out. But once you get into the tunnel, just head inside, drop on down directly to your left is going to be a shadow arm. Bump into it and that's how you get the badge. Next one is Supreme Calamitous. This one, you have to use the orb uh, before you had to glitch into it. But anyways, click the orb and then go to this orb right here. It will then teleport you into this room, bump into this structure or item, whatever it is, and you'll get the badge. Next up is four. That is the badge. Use the portal room again. You don't have to, I believe. I'm sure there's other ways to get there. But um, for now, use the portal. So once you're in the portal room, we're going to go to the second one over here to our right. So one and then two. This will take us to the four est. Get it? <laughs> I love that joke. But we're not going into the forest. We're going to be going in here into this room and then touch this right here on the ground. And that is how you get the badge. Sans the skeleton. So what we're going to have to do is collect seven souls, all right? We need seven of them, but you cannot reset and you cannot die. If you reset or die, that means jumping off the side or getting glitched. If you ever end up respawning here, you will lose your souls. So do not reset or die. All right, get the patience heart. Yes, I know this is different. This is the updated way of getting it now. So, go ahead, click on that. Go to the portal right over here. So, this is pretty much down the middle. Click it, and this is how you get to the snow area now, okay? Before you could fly, 
now you cannot. But then, right over here in the front is going to be the patient's heart. Boom. Baba booey. All right, so once you're back on the mainland, what we're going to have to do is now get our next one. There's no order to this, by the way. You don't have to get them in this order. But I'm going to get Bravery, which is going to be over there by the orb. If you don't know where that is, just follow along then. So we're going to go ahead, hop into these uh, bad boys, and get off we go. <laughs> we're going to get Bravery. And it is going to be in this, um, I guess, ruined area right over here. So we're going to go ahead and slow on down. We're going to pop on out, go over here, and grab bravery. Boom. Oh, hello there, Cheese. <laughs> or Cheerio, sorry. Okay, now that we got that, let's head on back this way. And we're going to get determination, okay? Okay. So determination is going to be over this way. I guess I could have gotten it as I landed. I had a little technical difficulties, so I had to uh, reset and go back and use a different plane because my Tiki plane oofed me. So determination is going to be over here in this store, okay? Boom. So let's get on out, head over inside, and on the back shelf, oh, probably helps if I go through the door. It's going to be the determination. So this one might be... There we go. It doesn't disappear, but we've got it in our inventory. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and hop back into our Tiki hot dog mobile. Boom. And then there should be a mountain over this way. That is where we want to go. Justice and Perseverance are both over here. But first one is going to be Justice. Oh my gosh, it is... Very rocky over here. Justice is going to be inside this cave entrance at the front of the mountain. So right over here. So let's go ahead, hop on out, run inside, and there is Justice. Boom. Now to get Perseverance, climb up the mountain up to the treehouse. And there should be some stairs right here for us. There we go. Head upstairs. And there is perseverance boom so we got five let's go ahead and go back to our tiki hot dog cookie mobile boom come on let me in and head back to the mainland next up is gonna be integrity okay integrity is gonna be the giant stone structure that's been there for literally forever that is where we're gonna go we're gonna go up to the very top this plane is actually really nice, by the way. I suggest using it if you're maybe a mobile user. Really easy to use, I believe. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and just park our Tiki Cookie Hot Dog Mobile and go up the ramp here. And we should be getting Integrity, which is a dark blue heart. Where is it? There it is. Integrity. Boom. Boom. Now, our last one is going to be in the spaceship. That is kindness. Yes, that's right. Kindness is the ultimate weapon. Just kidding. Not really. Actually, maybe. So, here we go. Head over to the spaceship right over here at the spawn or the map location. Head on in. And what we're going to do is get tel we have to click, get teleported inside, and then climb up the ladder to the very top so keep going keep going keep going until wait let me just make sure i want to make sure yep we go to the very top I, I just wanted to make sure that i was going the right way and we got yep there it is the green one which is kindness that is all seven now if you want to get out go down i believe four floors so one two three four and whoo oh that works oh boy that does <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Okay, there should be... There it is. The small circle right there. Click it, and you get ejected out. So, now that we got all seven of them, what we've got to do is head over this way to... I, I like to call it the Grunt Island because it looks very much like the Combat Madness kind of place. So, it's right over here where the tree is all by itself. There should be a doorway that will take us to another world. Okay, so here we go. We're going to be careful so we don't get oof. Oh, oof. 
or we're gonna miss it. So click or tap on the door. Once you're here, head over to this mountain right here. There should be a red portal. And this is where the souls come into play. We've got to use the souls for each door. So if you remember the color, awesome. If you don't, I'm still going to tell you anyways. And it's always the same order. It doesn't change, okay? So go up to the top. So our first one is going to be determination, okay? You can also just scroll through them if you don't know the color. Boom. Next is bravery. There we go. And then it is going to be justice. There we go. Boom. It also disappears. So if you have too many in your inventory, you can just uh, not worry about it. Boom. Kindness. Then patience. And then integrity. And finally, perseverance. Walk inside. There's going to be a ketchup bottle there. Step on it. And that is how you get Sans the Skeleton orange badge all right so while we're at it go ahead and pick any more if you want i'm going to choose huggy just because it's huggy everyone loves huggy so go into the map we there we go and head over this way now i believe it does not matter whichever morph you use but don't use a giant morph because sometimes that can make your hitbox or your character bigger and it won't be able to fit in the spot we're going to which is right over here it's really close by all you have to do is go into this vent and walk like that and then go down the vent and this might look familiar when you come out into the world it's FNAF but if you look to your left it's rainbow friends oranges bag of food so random so cool much wow so to get purple what we're gonna do is head into the map now you don't have to do it exactly like me but I'm gonna do it like this but we're going to head over this way to the big rock mountain. That's what I like to call it. The rock mountain or structure, whatever you want to call it. But go up the ramp on this side. Do not go on the other side, okay? You can if you want. It's up to you. There's actually probably many ways to do this. But I'm going to go up this way. And we're not going to go all the way to the top. What we're going to do is we're going to jump down onto this ledge down here. So like this, boom. Go around the side and in the middle there is the purple go ahead touch it you explode but you explode in a great fashionable way the doors badge aka ambush and this one's super easy all you have to do as of now as i'm making this video is simply go ahead and step on ambush and you get the badge i don't know if it's bugged I'm not sure, but for now, this is how you get ambushed. Um, oh my gosh, this is... <laughs> oh, a little jump scare there. There you go, that's how you get ambushed. Next one is Alternate Dave. Now, this is also easy. I heard a lot of people saying this is hard, but to me, it should be relatively easy. So come over here to the Badge Morph Room, actually, again. Zoom your camera out. And what we're going to do is click on his hand right here. So see how my mouse is changing only on the palm? Just click there and then turn around and we should get the badge. There we go. Just step into the TV. It's creepy in here. But hey, at least you get the badge. All right, the next one is Derp. And so I'm going to go ahead and become Sunky. Very dangerous character to use. He just goes crazy. If he goes like too fast. All right. So once you're here in the map, looking at the green pond is what I'm going to call it. Go over here to the left side and there should be a hole. Yep. There it is. Ooh, this is why I don't use sun key, but we're going to go ahead and go down into this hole. Once we're down here, go through this broken wall and we're going to look to our left and there is derp. Bump into his face. Now who's the derpy one? the vertigo badge all right so it is super simple i know in my previous video i was saying i don't know where it is literally after i finished recording i found it and it's not too far and it's not too hard all we gotta do is go to sus bucks coffee are you feeling sussy well they've got the best sus bucks in the world all right so walk inside once you do we're just gonna hop over the counter here excuse me mr sus barista and you see this you are sus 
espresso. Go ahead. Just bump around in here. I don't know exactly what I'm touching. I think it might be... I, I don't know. I don't know what it is here, but I was running around and you just touched this area. 